Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and others, to Breath of Fire 3. So uh, this is the next installment in the Pride of the PS1 series of, uh, of games. So this is uh, one of the greats from 1997. Now you're probably wondering, oh, why, why aren't you doing Breath of Fire 1 or Breath of Fire 2? Because they weren't PS1 games, guys. They weren't PS1 games. But I'm sure they're quite good. But they don't hold a candle to Breath of Fire 3, which is something else. Now, this is an absolute gem of a game with a brilliant story and an absolutely outstanding ideology. And we're going to get right into it today. So let's do it. So, of course, the big thing about the Breath of Fire games is the titular hero is the blue-haired protagonist called Ryu. Or Ryu. Or we'll call him Ryu. Anyhow, we're going to leave him as he is and let's go with that. Okay, explosives are set. What is this, an egg or something? You see ones like this every so often. Well, I'll be. Come on, let's get to work already. Honestly, they, they don't make games like this anymore, guys. I'm going to be saying that a lot, by the way, because they don't make games like this anymore. humble introduction like this here. We see an egg with a dragon. One presumes it's a dragon. We don't know. What the? It's still alive? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, not wise, Gary. Not wise. Because we are the dragon. Now, in our whelp form, we have whelp breath. Which, yeah, just uh, kills those poor champos, unfortunately. But, I mean, they did start it. And, um, yeah, we are a young dragon. Hang on, I need to just, uh... No, I, I don't have access. It doesn't look like I have, ac like I have access to, uh... The settings menu, which is... Which makes sense, because... We're just a little dragon at this point. We can't really do anything. So, yeah, let's just get out of here if we can. Go! Uh, a dragon! Uh, alive? Are you really a dragon? I mean, let's be honest, yes, we're an honest dragon. <laughs> dragon! Yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I would have thought we could have run, but... Ha! I'm not afraid, let's get it! Yeah, I wouldn't, guys, I wouldn't. So, um, as you can see in our dragon form, we are not wasting any time. Getting straight into things with our whelp dragon breath. Now I do believe it's possible to to lose here. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Is it? I need to check that. But we're not going to. We're just going to get the hell out of here. Let's go. Ignore, ignore the miners if we can. And let's just make straight for the exit. we want to stay alive. What's that? Somebody! Somebody help! What's this about a dragon, hmm? Well, well, well. Let's take it alive. Uh-oh. Looks like the boss. Okay. We've been alive for all of four minutes and we're already going against the boss. Let's uh, see what we can do. Ow. Oh, what's going on? No, don't. Huh? Who said that? Take them. Oh, dastardly. 
dastardly, the old crane to the face trick. This is what we're dealing with, guys. This is what we're dealing with. Been alive all of four minutes, and yeah, things aren't so things aren't going so well for us. But yeah, this is another thing that made these Grahams so great. They just they took the time. You know, they had absolutely zero qualms about starting a game like this with not that much exposition and just a lot of character work and uh, environmental storytelling. You have to figure stuff out. Okay, now here, we've awoken. It doesn't really tell us much what, about what we're supposed to do, so we have to figure it out. We just have to kind of rock this cage and get the hell out of here. Now, Cedar Woods. Now here we meet the next member of the main cast. Darn it, I don't get many chances like that anymore. No, almost had it. Come on, what's making that racket? What is making that racket? Ooh! A pack of wolves... ...trying to make a Happy Meal out of a, a naked, blue-haired boy. Oh brother, this is just what I needed. That'll teach you to scare off my dinner! You too! Oh, this guy's awesome. Who might you be? An orphan? Indeed, who is this? You're lucky those curs didn't chew you to pieces. I don't have enough food to feed you anyway. Even if I did take you home... Oh... M mommy The moral quandary that he's in, huh? Alright, alright, already. Uncle Ray will take you home. You better appreciate this. Oh, I'm sure we appreciate this. Ray, I wonder... What were you doing out there by yourself, hmm? That's a good question, Ray. And without a strip of clothing. That is a good question, Ray. I mean, hopefully we will find out. We will. So now Ray has been kind enough to take us to his cabin in the woods. Where's Ray? I'm hungry. Oh, he's home. Hi, Ray. Welcome home. Is that dinner? Boy, you'll eat anything. <laughs> Won't you, t <-Bo? laughs> Who is that, anyway? Don't ask me. Let's get him into your bed, okay? So who is he? I told you. I don't know. I found him in the woods. Really? Sounds like what happened with me. An orphan? Not surprising. It's been a lean year. Yeah, so you guys see, in this world... Well, why don't we let him sleep? While we go to the village. If we don't get some food soon... Somebody abandoned him. Just like me. Yeah, in this world, there are... 
Orphans are a thing. Now, who could this be? Don't you see, Ryu? You're the same as me. You must... understand. They're weak, pitiful, and pathetic. Who could that have been? And who is this? A fairy godmother, perhaps? Aphrodite? Ryu? My... my Ryu... Could this be our mother? Ryu... Okay, and here we wake up. Excellent. Uh, let's head downstairs. So, Ray and Tipo said that uh, they went to the village. So, let's just go raid their cupboards quickly. So, first of all, we'll get a vitamin. Anything in here? A worm? That'll come in handy a bit later on. And, let's see, anything downstairs? Uh, no, we can't go to the, just there just yet. Uh, so let's head back up. And uh, head on out. So wait, is it this way? Uh, no, it's not this way. Where is it? Where am I going? Yeah, the, the layout of this place is so confusing. Uh, is it? No, it's, uh, no, it's, just, it's the other way, isn't it? Mm. There we go. Okay, well, uh, there's not much we can do here in our pajamas. So uh, let's head out. Also, you might notice some um, those two very interesting looking enemies there. They are uh, they're not actually enemies just yet, but um, they provide information for us. We'll uh, we'll, we'll talk to them a bit later on. But who's this guy? Hey kid, you better be careful around here. A couple of bullies named Ray and Tipo live around these parts. <laughs> we 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 know of them. We know of them, sir. They've actually been kind enough to lend us a pair of pajamas. Now we're gonna make our way to the village, so we can have a word with them, because uh, we won't be able to do much in our pajamas. So this is another thing that uh, this game, and games of this era kind of had, world maps. And this is, is this here would be the equivalent of the world map. So we started off in the Rial region, and we are now going to the town of McNeil. And let's see what goes on here. Oh. Out of my house, you punks! So it looks like they're still scrambling for food. Haha, <laughs> you'll never catch me! It's no use, Ray. Everyone's watching out for us. Nobody's got much food. What with the poor harvest and all? Hey, Tipo, look at this. Hey, you finally woke up, huh? Yep, we finally woke up. Doesn't this beat all? Now we've got another mouth to feed. What if we get him to help us, Ray? Good idea. But I think we need to get him out of his pajamas first. Come on. We'll get you fixed up with some equipment. Okay, let's go follow. You just wait, Ryu. Ray will get you set up with, some, with something in no time. Okay. Huh? Did I just say Ryu? Is that your name? Funny. 
How did I know that? Maybe I dreamed it? Most curious. Uh oh, scram! Most curious indeed. Yeah, there's a, there's a wonderful bit of lore to this game, guys. Honestly. That was close, wasn't it, Ray? Sure was. But we were able to get him something to wear. Hurry up, Ryu. Don't be a slowpoke. Okay, that's pretty cool. Not used to wearing armor yet, huh? Well, it's better than pajamas, I suppose. What do we do now, Ray? Well... Everyone in town's in a bad mood over the poor harvest. I know. Let's hit the road. We can do work there. We can do some more work there. There's a road up ahead. Called the Yard Road. We go there sometimes and, well, mug people. <laughs> yeah. Ryu shaking his head in disapproval. It's not like we hurt people or anything. Just steal from them. I'm not into hurting people, you know? That's right. Even a beginner like you can do it. Come on, don't worry, let's go. I don't know, how do we feel about this, guys? Is this okay? On moral grounds, can we approve of this here? So first of all, I'm just going to go to our formations, because we're going to be getting into some fights in a second. And I'm going to switch from normal to attack mode. This will just give us a bit more of an offensive buff. So that is one thing. And uh, next, let's go to settings. And I'm going to go auto runner on. Just to uh, speed up the... Yeah, speed up our movement a bit more. There we go, that's better. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's uh, head down to Lidal Road. I love the little jazzy tune as well, don't you? It's quite interesting. Okay, and here we go, our first fight. Let's see. What do we got? The goblin and the boss goblin, okay. So, this is a this is an interesting little battle thing here. As you can see, it's all turn-based. Us versus them. We can input our commands. We're gonna start off with Ray, and we will focus on the goblin boss. Now, a bit later on, I will try to um, steal one of his skills, in particular this one, influence. I think this gives kind of like a a targeting buff to all of our allies. And the good thing is by examining or observing, there we go, examining, by examining the movements of some enemies, we can uh, we can actually copy their skills. Which is uh, one of the cool things about this game. Like you, you can actually copy the skills of the enemies that we encounter, which is really cool. Well, I mean that's one of the mechanics of it. Another is Ryu has a little special ability, which we'll discover a bit later on. Okay, good stuff. And of course, the currency in this game is Zenny. In case you were wondering. Alright, here we go. This is the Arrow Road. Uh, how are we going to pronounce this? This is the Real Road, where we work. This road goes all the way to Windia. So Windia is one of the... Uh, if it's not the capital, then it's one of the big cities in the game. Someday, we're gonna blow this place and head out to a big city like Windia, right, Ray? Well, instead of worrying about that, let's think about getting something to eat today, okay? We should go hide and wait for someone to come by. Behind that tree up there looks good to me. Okay, that seems all right. So, um, how do we feel about this now, guys? Got some zenny? I mean, we feel good about that, right? All right, let's wait here. I mean, we started off this game... We were hatched, like, 20 minutes ago, right? When someone comes by, we jump out. We were hatched 20 minutes ago, and here we are. We've made some friends, and we're resorting to a life of thievery. Like this. Yeah, Ryu does not approve. What's up, Ryu? Don't get all soft on us now. Don't worry. 
We're just some poor kids trying to get some food. Whoever it is will forgive us, right? I mean, that's an, that's an interesting thought. So, who is it? Hey, here comes somebody. Oh dear. This does, this does not look like someone you want to be uh, mugging. He's alone. Okay, Ryu, show us what you're made of. Go get him. Just run into him like this. <laughs> Bunyan. What are you trying to do, little one? Mug me? Hmm? We've got enough trouble around here. Already with those rascals, Tipo and Ray. Listen to me. If you run into them, tell them that if I catch them, they'll be sorry. Oh, crud. Whoops. Figures it would be Bunyan. So Bunyan is actually a, uh... He's a pretty big somebody. Who does he think he is, anyway? Hey, wait a minute. If old man Bunyan's out there, that means... There's no one at his house, right? You're right. Let's go and grab some of his food. <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> oh, Tipo. You guys don't learn, do you? They never learn. Okay, what are we going against now? Slimes. Uh, Alright, a mage slime and a regular slime, so let's attack. Anyone proficient with, like, any JRPG will know of slimes. Or even a staple of uh, isekai animes now, apparently. Like that time I got reincarnated as a slime. It's an awesome one. Alright, let's, uh, let's head over to Bunyan's house. So Bunyan's house is up this way. So, we're gonna have to go past McNeil. And round here. Now you guys might be seeing exclamation marks every now and then on the world map. Those are just, um encounters that we can jump into at some point. Alright, new enemy. Ripper. Ooh. And they're, they're hurting. But the good news is, well done, We've got level 2. We got level 2. Yeah, the good news is we got level 2. And... Yeah, these old school games, they're about grinding. You know, you gotta... Earn your levels. You gotta... Get tougher when you get to new regions, otherwise... You will not cut it. Anyhow, let's have Ray... Uh, Ray pick the lock. And now let's look around. Just as I thought, nobody's home. Keep your eyes open, Ryu. Someone might hear us if we make too much noise. Okay, let's split up. And check the place out, quietly. Okay, I think we can do that, right? There's gotta be some food around here. You guys see any food? Shh, Ryu, shush! <laughs> Just relax. Calm down, Ryu. <laughs> nice little funny bit there. Alright, do you guys see any food around here? I don't, nothing. I don't see any food. Nothing under the bed. Nothing there. Let's go down into the storage room. He's gotta have some food around here, right? Nothing there, just some bits of wood. Because that's what Bunyan does, he chops wood. Anything here? You found beef jerky! Oh yeah! Winner, winner, chicken, beef jerky dinner. Right, uh, find something? Hey, there's food here! Alright, oh, come on, let's get out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Old man Bunyan's come home. It's not good. That is not good. 
we might be in trouble. I'll go check it out. If something happens, I'll distract him. And you guys get away, okay? Oh dear. Hey, everything's okay. There's no way Ray would get... <laughs> that doesn't sound encouraging. Um, I guess I'd better go and see what's happening. Don't worry. We can get out of here, right? Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe Tipo shouldn't go. Oh dear. Well, I guess it's our turn. Let's go check it out. Oh! Yep, we got caught. Typical. I knew you were up to no good. But I didn't think you'd sunk this low. Oh, man, he's cracking his knuckles. At a time like this, when everyone's suffering. Don't you know that if you don't work, you can't eat? Shut up! We were working! You just don't get it, do you? Robbing people isn't honest work. I've half the mind to run you out of the woods, but... If you say you'll mend your ways, I could forgive and forget. What do you want us to do? Ray, you're a strong lad. Aren't you? I've got a job for you. You've heard of Mount Glaus, haven't you? The big mountain north of the forest? You'll know it when you see it. I want you to go there, understand? Just me? What about them? Don't worry. I've got something else in mind for them. You're keeping them as hostages? So I'll do what you want, right? Alright, I'll do it. I don't know what you're up to, but I'll go to Mount Glaus. Tipo, you keep an eye on Ryu. Oh dear. Hey, old man! What are we supposed to do? Work, Tipo. If you want to eat, you have to work, understand? Well, I mean, I guess, but... What I want you to do is chop firewood. It's really simple. Tipo sets the log, and Ryu cuts it. You know how to use your sword, don't you? It's the triangle button. If you cut too fast, you'll hit Tipo. If you cut too slow, you'll miss the log. Cut as many logs as you can until I tell you to stop. Understand? I mean, I think we get that, yeah. Hey, no problem. We can do it in our sleep. Come on, Ryu, let's get this over with. All right then, begin. Oh, missed it. Yeah, so there's... This is just a speed thing. Speed and timing. Just gotta wait for the um, right animation. And just hit it. And I think um, it's generally quite good if we get like more than about 15. Stop. Hmm, 17 logs. Not bad. There. Uh, there. We worked, didn't we? Now, you won't complain if we steal, right? <laughs> if you keep that up, one of these days you'll be sorry. Don't you see that? Ha! Huh, who cares? One day, real soon, we're getting out of here. 
I ain't afraid of nothing. Come on, Ryu. Let's go after Ray. Okay, I mean, that's certainly something we can do, Tipo. We can certainly go after Ray. I, I mean, in our current state, we'll probably die. So let's use our ability here with old Ryu and uh, see if we can do a bit of healing. Lovely. Oh, and we are straight into another battle. Oh boy, this is going to be um, not the easiest of things. So Tipo, Tipo has the flare ability. Uh, he's going to have to go, we're going to go after the boss goblin first. And uh, Ryu doesn't really have anything. So yeah, we're just going to have to do the best we can here. And this is another cool, I mean, look at that, wow. We have reprisal though, that's good. Tipo's pretty tough flare skill. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do some examining of these um, enemies to see if we can learn the influence skill and uh, learn some of the other abilities that they have. But yeah, as I say, guys, this is the thing with these old school games. They are not difficult in that regard, but they hold kind of like the right level of challenge. Lovely. We've got a nice bit of Zenny as well. All right. Now I wonder. Oh uh, no, it's not on here. I need to go onto the world map to be able to use the tent. So let's do that. Now before we go up to Mount Glaus, we're gonna head back to the town of McNeil to get kitted out of it, and uh, just make sure we uh, are fully ready for what waits us up there. So I'm firstly, I'm gonna make camp here. And this is another cool thing we can do. We can enter the camping screen like this here. Which is all well and good. Tipo, come on, let's go after Ray. Mount Glaus is north of the Cedar Woods. Yeah, this just gives us a nice little prompt in case we're not exactly sure where we need to be going. And usually our other party members will be hanging around in here. And then this little diary here is what we can be using to save, which is all well and good. But as you guys can see, there's not much we can we can do here. So uh yeah, we're just gonna be just chilling for a while. Anyhow, guys, we're gonna take a quick break here. When we get back, we will be hopefully kitted out and, uh, hang on, just check our items. We just got the vitamin and the beef jerky from earlier, haven't we? Not much. In fact, they seem a bit overkill at the moment, seeing as we only have like 22 and 24 HP respectively. So, um, yeah, if we can get some more, maybe not as powerful, um, items, but maybe more cheaper and more plentiful ones, then that might be something to consider. Yeah, so anyway, we'll call it a day here. That's all for now. Um, guys, if you like this uh, kind of stuff here, please consider smashing that like button. You know how it is. Um, as I said, this is the Pride of the PS1 series. And uh, if you like this here, also check out the Suikoden playthrough, which is another one on the channel. Covered it a while ago. But um, yeah, I think this is going to be the new series on the channel, as uh, it does look very, very cool. This game, as I said before, is absolutely outstanding and when we really really get into it there's a uh, I mean there's just so much to it but um yeah we'll get to that uh, later on so yeah that's all for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time take care